tell me about getting sober. Why did you decide to get sober? And like, when you say sober, do you mean just alcohol? Do you mean everything? Because different people have different definitions of sober. Um, so I never really liked, I never really liked weed. It always mm -hmm. gave me like a weird, like I always had a bad reaction for like, oh, it's a strain of weed that you're, I was like, no. Every time I smoke weed, it's a bad reaction. Like mm -hmm. at THC, I'm not good with THC. I mean, I've like done CBD, but it has like no drug in it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. There's no um, react psychoactive element. But yeah, like I remember I was just like, you know, I was, I moved to New York and I was freshly at Burning Angel. So I like, I used to throw Burning Angel parties. I was like one of the, like, I was one of the, other than Joanna, I was like the top girl at Burning Angel. So I would always throw parties through New York and like, you know, this and that. So I would, I would, became friends with a lot of DJs and promoters and bartenders and bar owners and stuff like that. So I'd be like, I'd show up to the bar and like, oh, here's a, here's the table. Here's the table with a free bottle of booze. So I'd drink lots of booze. So every, I think it was like five, six nights a week. I was just like drinking, you know, because like I would just be, you know, crazy as a, mm -hmm. you know, the crazy drunk girl doing stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah. I can't believe she did that. You know, like I would like and learning time I like wanted to like do drugs like cocaine mm -hmm. was when i was drunk right and i've done a lot of stuff for the cocaine because i was drunk because i went i was like i don't want to i don't want to pay for the cocaine i'll just do this so i'm like mm -hmm. i made a lot of bad decisions yeah and like it wasn't it wasn't until like i like woke up and i was like craving alcohol i was like oh fuck i was like my father i grew up in na my father wasn't my father was a head speaker in na and like you know so it's like it runs in my family you know addiction you know so was he a circuit speaker? Yeah. Okay, so he traveled around. And... Well, not a circuit speaker. I don't know. I don't know what that. I don't. I don't know. So why circuits, I said yeah. I don't know what that is. Well, circuits. So when you say head speaker, was he maybe the secretary of meetings? So so he um so he was like the the NA like the group that we went to. He was like one of the main speakers. So he like ran all the meetings. Okay, so he was probably yeah. like a secretary or yeah of the of the whatever it was in Buffalo. But okay. Yeah, so okay. And so I'm like, I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that at all. So I uh, I was like, all right, I'm gonna stop drinking. And then it was like, I didn't do I didn't do meetings or anything like that because mm -hmm. I don't like I don't like organized religion. I don't like anything it stands for. I think it's very toxic. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think once people find it, they're just dependent on it. And if they if if something doesn't go their way, they're like, oh, I can do this because of this. I was like, no, I'd rather just depend on myself for my sobriety. Mm -hmm. So I just started hanging out with uh, sober people in New York and going out and like it was I was like. Oh, you can be sober and go out and have fun. So this girl Ariel, um, she like I would just go out with her and and then people just knew me as like the burning angel who didn't drink, who like the party who, who would just get her friends drunk instead. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And you haven't had any cravings or like no. times that you wish that you could. No, actually, I get really like turned off by people. I mean, I think people who are like drunk, I just think. Like, people, okay, there's, like, fun drunks. Like, when Joanna gets drunk, I can tell she's drunk because she'll start, like, dancing like a stripper at the bar. I was like, oh, Joanna's drunk. I yeah. love Joanna when she's drunk. Um, but, like, other people I don't know that don't know how to handle their alcohol, like, they just, like, they're just sloppy to mm -hmm. me. Yeah. A lot of people just get too sloppy and just, like, it's too much. I'm like, oh, it's really annoying. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't want to be that person. So I'm, I, if I drink, I become that person. Yeah. So, yeah. Everybody, yeah, everybody's different. There's... <laughs> The most, the most annoying thing that my husband does when he's not, he's just not even drunk, he's buzzed. Is <laughs> when we watch a movie, he pauses it constantly or tells me to pause it because he wants to like talk about the movie <laughs> as we're watching it. And I get so irritated. I'm like, babe, I just want to watch the movie. I don't want to fucking dissect it. Like, stop <laughs> asking me to pause. It's so annoying. So like, <laughs> that's, but that's like, that's like the worst that I have to deal with. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not, it's too, not bad. too bad. But it, is, but it is funny how like these certain characteristics come out in people and you're just like, when you're sober, you're just like, like oh God, knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think that, <clears throat> I mean, would you have characterized yourself as an alcoholic or do you just think oh, that like it was becoming a problem and so um, then like you just decided to um, like not engage in the problem anymore? Yeah, I consider myself an alcoholic because I had to depend on it because I started depending on it and I started craving it. It wasn't until I craved it that I was like, oh, shit, you know? Mm -hmm. I guess I wasn't like a fucking like, you know, like I'm an addict, you know? Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a very addictive personality, I'm very addictive. Like I like go in full force everything. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, yeah. It's so interesting because, you know, I'm sober too. 
Mm-hmm. And um, I definitely had to do like the 12 step program and I'm still in it. Mm. Um, and I tried to not do it because I didn't want to. Uh-huh. You know, that was like the last thing I wanted to do was like go hang out with a bunch of fucking people and like, you know, yeah. the God word and everything like really like, bump, you know, freaked yeah. me out at the beginning. <laughs> and so I tried everything, but there was just no way that I could do it without like some kind of community and some kind of like accountability. Like I just had to have that. Otherwise it was not possible for me to get sober. But you know, it's like, it's different for everybody. Like Mm -hmm. that's, Mm -hmm. and that's so interesting because I think about it too. Like I always try to pinpoint, okay, like what's the difference between an alcoholic and a problem drinker? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because like they're two different things. Yeah. I never Um, thought about that. Yeah. I mean, I think probably because, I mean, it sounds like you, I mean, you made a decision to stop and then yeah. like you just Also, stopped. with me, like I couldn't just drink a little. It was either like not drinking yeah. or fucking get wasted out of her mind. Yeah, and like yeah, yeah. I would like go out like, you know, Buffalo's open bars are open until 4 a.m. So I would just go out drinking in Buffalo and like I would just like start drinking. When I got too drunk, I would just like make myself throw up like to get sober in the bathroom and start drinking some more. Like that was. Which that to was... me feels like a super logical thing to do. Yeah, like, I mean. No joke. Like you want to keep <laughs> drinking, you know, you I mean, it's like it's like I'm drinking stuff that tastes delicious. So, you know, I just want to keep, you know, my Cosmos and my Armand Sours, my Captain <laughs> Diet. Love it. Apple teenies. I, I like drinking like at bar. I like drinking like uh, like like Apple teenies and stuff like that yeah. and Cosmos because it like make me look fancy in a bar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have my fingerless gloves on and my, you know, my, my they drink. are beautiful <laughs> drinks. They really are very yeah. pretty. 